I'm not broken and neither are you. You're probably thinking that's a strange title for flying hinges. Uh, you know, it's a channel that's supposed to be sort of light-hearted, a bit of this and a bit of that. And it normally is, but there is something I just want to share with you about um, brokenness. been doing videos that involve broken things or breaking things or to make something else but you're not broken whatever's wrong with you whatever you're suffering you're not broken why would I even say that well because for a while I thought I was I had clinical depression uh, two breakdowns uh, wiped out for about five years of my life I can't remember whole passages before that depression has that bad effect on memory. I'm also dyslexic and dyspraxic um, and you know being you know not neurotypical uh, it just makes life a little bit more difficult. But so what? And you know sometimes you know the world seems to be making you you know trying to squeeze you into its mould and, and make you be or in fact it's not making you take that on board yourself or I have. And yeah, I just want to encourage you to be who you are and accept who you are and really to just tell you that you're exactly who God intended you to be. And I know that's a Christian perspective, which obviously I've made it pretty clear that I'm a Christian. But to put it another way, maybe you're just who you're meant to be. You know, you're filling that place that only you can fill in life. And that matters. And you matter. And I just want to encourage you. Keep on keeping on. You're not broken. And neither am I. And I suppose really why am I saying this? Well, because the depression isn't entirely behind me. I'm a bit like the recovering alcoholic who no longer drinks. But if you were to, it would all be back the way it was. And I have to wrestle with the depression. It's something I'm largely overcoming on a day-by-day -day basis. But some days I do wake up feeling dreadful. And in fact, this last month has been more like that than not. And some days I haven't been able to get to that place where I felt better. But what I found most helpful for me is accepting that. One day I found myself saying, I don't even want to do the things I want to do. And the CBT person that I was seeing at the time really helped me by saying, well then, you don't want to do them. And so just accepting who we are, where we are, you know, where we're at, where we've come to. It may not be where we want to be in many ways, but accept who we are and realise that I'm not broken and neither are you.